I actually grabbed a few just to show you guys. I am gonna read one of them, um, and I'll show you the one that I'm gonna read here in just a, just a second. But as I was flipping through my comic books, I ran across one that I didn't know that I had in my collection. Um, I've, I've got quite a bit of comics gathered in the last year. Some have been sent to me from you guys, and uh, I've been doing a great deal of collecting them from, you know, comic book shops, or sometimes they'll have them at thrift shops and stuff. So, I must have picked this one up was really, really ex um, excited and surprised when I seen this. So this is a Battle Angel Alita comic book, and it was in the section of comics that I have gotten. So a few things might have happened. It could have got thrown in there. Uh, maybe somebody sent it to me and I accidentally put it with the thing that I originally have found for myself. Or I did find it, and I just didn't know. I wasn't looking out for that when I got it. Um, so, this is what the back looks like. Now, this, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this today, just because I'm probably gonna do a separate episode reading this, maybe as Alita and Battle Angel. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cool. I probably got this back in October, because it does say Halloween Comic Fest, so they give a quite a, a lot of free comic books around at different places and stuff. So I probably got it but if one of you did send this to me and I just didn't realize it, let me know if you even see this moment in time. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. She looks a little bit different here. You'll notice she has cowboy hat on, cowboy boots, or cowgirl hat, cowgirl boots, and cool, cool looking outfit here. And her hair is a different color than in the movie. says here, soon to be a major motion picture. So, so that is what the, this is what the first page looks like. And it does open up backwards. I know a lot of comic books are designed that way, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I've never actually read one that was designed that way, though, so I'm not too, I don't know, not too sure. But if I would have known that I had this before I would have made the uh, Battle Angel video, I definitely would have incorporated it somehow. It just has so many cool pictures. But I will show you guys more of that some other time. I just wanted to show you guys that today. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few more different comic books, and the reason why is it was requested that I read from this one today. This is Sad Sacks Army Life Parade, and it looks pretty cool, but we will take a look at that in just a minute. I'm gonna show you these other three that are all of the same kind of genre, the same. They're all Sad Sack comic books. comic book videos, but um, they are Harvey Comics, which I love Harvey Comics, and um, I know some of you really like modern comic books, because I've, I've read some of your comments and messages and emails about how I need to upgrade my collection a little bit, but I actually really love the more old style comic books. Um, I just 
think they have some type of character to them. I like older books for some reason. And part of it is the uh, illustrations, and part of it is kind of because they have this old cheesiness to them that I just like. But looking ads in them. I like seeing things like from back in the day. So, here's this one. So I believe I have four all together. Four sad sack comic books all together. And these were all given to me by a friend. So, this is the other that um, to you guys since I'm going to be reading one from them. Okay. So let me go ahead and take this out of the comic book. See here on the side, there's five different squares with different characters. This first one is Sad Sack. This next one is Sarge. This is the general. This is Mutsy. And this is Slob Slobinski. Slob Slobinski. So, those are probably all of the main characters from this comic book. Very, very cute. Up here it says giant size. Harvey Comics. And there's a little character right up there at the top. It says 35 cents there. And there's just all kinds of little cute details. The eye is dotted with the sad sack, which I think is cute. This was um, October number 36. show you the back. This is not uh, part of the sad sack uh, story, but it's like a separate thing. It's like a different little short story, I assume. And um, we will take a look more at that when we finish the comic. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit darker, just so, um, just so that you can see the pages a little bit better, and that way we don't get a glare. Maybe right there. We'll see. We'll test it out. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. sale and watches and pencils and different little games that you can buy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first page before I read it. Okay, that's just kind of a far back picture. Alright, so there's uh, two characters on this page. One of them is Sad Sack, and one is a character I do not recognize. 
I don't think they showed him on the front, so I'm guessing he's just a random character in the story. He says, Now what? Sunsack says, Sarge wants you to fix this tank. The guy says, What's wrong with it? Something is wrong with the steering. If the steering is out, how did you get here? Sad Sack says, it wasn't easy. And then there's a picture of all kinds of, well, it's showing all of the things he destroyed, trying to get there without the steering working. Um, it shows some different houses leaning, like he had had to just kind of bulldoze through them. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. There's the fence torn completely in two. Here's a quick look at this page here. It says, Sad Sack in Camera Hog. So, let's go ahead and read. I'll take a hundred enlargements. Okay, Sarge. Boy, he sure loves himself. There's a picture showing all kinds of work being done. The champion of the clean land movement strikes again, dot dot dot. Anyone want to go swimming? These two guys back here say, I do. Um, Sack, what have I told you about? Say I didn't warn you, Sack. So, where are we going, Sarge? Asks Sad Sack. Sarge says, We're going to the beach. Where else? Sad Sack says, Hot dog, I can hardly wait to dive in. And Sarge says, Wait a minute. It's just some pictures. From that page. Okay, so Sad Sack says, uh huh. Sarge says, You've got to wear this frogman suit. What for? You'll find out. Soon, dot dot dot. I should have known, said Sad Sack. I can't blame anyone but myself. I volunteered. Imagine cleaning up the bottom of the bay. Well, that just about does it. So there's the pictures from the page that we just read over there. Hmm, what is all this garbage doing out here? I'll just dump it. So he dumps it into the lake, and it's kind of just falling. Whoever it is, isn't going to get away with it. Okay, who's the wise guy? He comes out of the water saying that. And Sarge is standing there. I'll just show you guys. He's standing there, and he's like, huh? Like, who are you talking to? Um, and then he says, well. Sarge says that. And then Sad Sack says, er, uh, hiya, Sarge. Sarge says, Er, uh, no, no, no. Sad Sack says, er, uh, I was just wondering why you dumped the garbage on me. Sarge said, you can't bring it up here and pollute everything. Sad Sack says, but what am I supposed to do with it? out to the sea and bury it. Doggone it. On land, under sea, or in the air, I'm always on garbage detail. I'm the unluckiest guy in the world. Also, I'm bored. Garbage 
garbage, garbage, garbage. Nothing is ever new. He looks behind him. He says, good grief. A shark. And he's acting hungry. Snap, 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 That doesn't look like a scary shark to me. He looks pretty cute. Look at him smiling. <laughs> um, so sad sack starts up beating him the garbage. And the shark gulps it all down. Gulp, 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 gulp. Sad sack says, hee, 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 no one could stand. GI garbage. Gosh, I didn't mean to hurt him. So the shark is having a little bit of a belly ache after eating all that trash. I'd better do something about this. So he takes him. Oh, they're becoming best friends. He takes him up to shore, right here. He ends up carrying him, carrying him into this little hospital bed. You can see the Sarge is very upset. So I'll show you stuff. And then it says the end. Okay. So, this next one, this is, this looks like a cute one. I'm not sure if it's a complete story or not. I think, no. So this one page is just a story all on its own. You'll see it says, Sad Sack and Man of Need. Ice cream. This kid is thinking. Um, it's, it shows a light bulb up in his think bubble cloud. And there's a ice cream cone on the ground. So he's got an idea. He's crying. He's so sad. Sad Sack runs over there to try to help the little kid. And, um, you know, he sees that his ice cream's missing. And so, sad sack. Got him a new ice cream cone. And then the kid's off with it. And then that's the end of the story. So, let's see. This next one. This is the same kid from the last page. He seems like kind of a prankster to me. So the title of this little short story is called Sad Sack and Junk Boy. Um, so Sad Sack is walking a lot along a fence and he sees over it that that little boy is sitting over here, and there's a little sign over here, and it says base junk pile. And this kid's holding the garbage can, and let's see, he puts another garbage can over him, and he swooshes out. You can see, he builds himself a rocket. And then it says the end. So those are just a couple little short stories. This one is a sad sack in Captain's Kid. So, our GI, Don Quixote, facing the endless task of fighting pollution, is searching for a new place to bury garbage. This looks like a good, lonely spot. So he's down in the sea again, trying to create trouble. Uh, let's see. So he starts digging. And the bottom of the sea, and it says, clunk. So, I'm guessing he ran into something. It's some kind of an old chest. Hot diggity. A treasure chest. What? We. I'm the richest garbage barrier in the world. Boy, wait till the guys see this. A vast there. Where are you going with that treasure, lover? Good grief, you look like uh, you could be a captain kid. Har har har, you're clever.
Hello, Sunny. Hmm? I'm a captain's. I'm a captain kid's kid's kid. Kid's kid's kid. Kid's kid's kid. Kid's kid's kid. Ha. Huh. He was my great great grandfather. Gosh, I didn't mean to take your treasure. Har, har, har. So, there's little pictures of him finding the treasure and then get it away from him. So this kid's kid's kid is like an under the sea pirate. And Sad Sack is like, doesn't know what's going on. He's just like, oh. And the kid's kid's kid says, I like you, Sonny. I want you for my crew. Oh no. <laughs> this is not good. So they swim off together. And he says, Har har. Now I can really be a captain. Har har. I can't be a captain without a crew. But what about all that gold? Sad Sack says. The kid's kid's kid says, Har har, it'll be safe there, har har. Well, we'll go out and raid some more ships. Sad Sack's like, raid ships? What? I'm not doing that. So he says, I couldn't do that. The kid's kid's kid says, You what? just changed my mind. Good lad. Har, har, har. So there's kind of some illustrations if you're watching. And if you're not watching, do not worry about it. Just enjoy the whispers, the beach sounds. So there's Sad Sack and there's the Kids Kids Kid. I like how his name sounds. Here is our pirate ship. It's a two-man sub. Wow, this is great, said Sad Sack. The vast will be the courage, the scourge of the seven seas. Ah, I see our victim on the horizon. You're not really going to torpedo someone, Sad Sack asked. The kids, kids, kids said, just watch. Ah, I have another delivery for Sack says the Sarge. So, he has a bunch of garbage. So I don't think they're gonna be collecting much gold from this guy. Hey, that's Sarge on the garbage scow. Oh no. Har har. So he speeds up the boat. He speeds up their little pirate ship. And he says, Kind of crash into it, right? And Sad Sack is apologizing to Sarge. He's like, "Gosh, I'm so sorry, Sarge." Sack, I should have known you'd be the, at the bottom of this. I hope you enjoy cleaning it all up. And then the kids, kids, kids says, "Pirating isn't as much fun as it used to be." Sad Sack in the Librarian. In the Librarian. Sack. Snap it up. I wish I could show you guys this the same time I'm reading it. Um, so, there's just some little pictures. Boy, that's what I call lazy. 
he's getting told that by somebody who's just laying down and he's the one doing all the work okay so okay this is the one that I I'll show you guys first. Okay. It says nothing can stay our volume. see strangers, so I just want to chew the fat a little. <laughs> so she takes him, she gets him, and she brings him home, and she says, welcome to my little home. She says, now just sit down and have some tea. And he's so scared, so he's just like abiding by the rules. And he's like, yes, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am, but I can't drink with my mask on. She says, hee hee, forgive an old lady and tell me what you're doing here. She, uh, he says, I'm a frog man on garbage detail, ma'am. She says, garbage detail. We've been dumping it in the sea and now I'm supposed to find a place for it down here. She's so mad. She's like, mm -hmm. So that's where all the blasted refuse, refuse came from all of the sudden. I'll fix them. And that's what she's thinking to herself. She says, I can get rid of all that for you, little frog man. She, he says, gosh, that would be swell, ma'am. She said, I'll spell all our problems away. He says, huh? She says, Ale ka Neptune. Make my little frog man think he really is a frog and send all the garbage back where it came from. Alakazam. And, um, then it says, all the garbage and sack rise from the ocean. So, I'll show you. Let's make sure that you're seeing it. So, it plops back onto shore. And... So 
those jumping blue blazes, it looks like all the garbage we've been getting rid of for weeks. Except now it also smells like rotten seaweed. So Sarge is stuck in the pile of garbage and he says, now what? Knee deep. Knee deep. It's that nutty sack acting like a frog. The end. Says announcing a unique contribu contribution to man's record of the wonders of the animal world. Yours free, Animal Kingdom, and there's all kinds of books you can write in and, and get the whole uh, um, volume one of the illustrated encyclopedia of the animal kingdom. You can get them all for free. Oh, and this is so cute. It shows a little. Comics and different things. There's Casper and Wendy. Admit one to Palisade Amusement Park. Then, let's see. There's a couple. There's an This ad, this page, has an ad and you can see the Peanuts Gang. There's a whole book collection. Here at last, all the fun of the six great Charlie Brown TV specials in six glorious volumes. So they're not books, they're actually TV specials. Maybe books, let me see. With love from Charlie Brown for ten days free. I think they are books. And then here's a bunch of ads as well. You probably can't see them, but there's all kinds of cool looking old fashioned ads. Hot pepper gum. A thousand and one things you can get free. A boomerang. A joy buzzer. All kinds of stuff. And then this one, it says, here are the giant Harvey comics. Comics now on sale. Every one is different. More stories, more entertainment. You'll read them all and keep them. Dot, dot, dot. To read them. Again and again. Hurry, get your copies. And then there's all kinds of different ones. Which I'm seeing a lot of them that I notice that I actually have. Like, um, let's see, Bunny. I have a few of those. Uh. TV Casper and company. Um, it would be cool to get more Casper and then Wendy Witch World. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. Little Dot Dot Land. I don't have that, but that would be pretty cool. There's just all kinds of them. Richie Rich, Spooky, um, just tons of different comics. I'm actually going to Because I think if I hold them back here, you can probably see them better. So, there's a few more ads there. Different ones, different. A sad sack of books, or comic books. Really cool. And then the back, let's see. It says, how do you like a nice Hawaiian punch? Fruit, juicy red. Nope, apple red. Great grape, sunshine orange, lemon pink, pineapple, new fairy berry. Sure. Pow, when he punches him. I heard that joke back in back in the day, like third grade or something. If someone asked you if you wanted to punch, don't say yes. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> They'll try to punch you. I fell for it one time. I said sure. third grader punch. Wasn't too bad. But yeah, 
so that's kind of funny. So, for this next part of the video, I'm going to change my shirt just because of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to put this blue shirt on, it's short sleeved, and I'm going to um, do lotion sounds. So, I don't want to wear these. These sleeves. Oh, I got a sticker on there. Um, I don't want to wear these big sleeves while I'm doing the lotion because I don't want to get any lotion on them. So I will go and change into this and then be right back. 